When you read or listen to a poem, the interplay of meaning, rhythm and aesthetic qualities of language can set your mind whirling. And if you explore the world of music and movement, something similar can be said of dance. Classical Indian dance exponents Varush Kapata and Manesh Maharaj combined their talents to create a coming together of Bharatanatyam and Kathak dance recently. And the result was Poetry in Motion. The KwaZulu-Natal Society of Arts Gallery in Durban is normally a venue for the performing arts. In an unusual collaboration, master Kathak dancer Sri Manesh Maharaj would perform alongside the equally acclaimed Bharatanatyam exponent Srimati Varushka Pate, presenting an original work combining these Indian classical styles. Dance lovers were treated to snacks before taking their seats, and as is customary, divine blessings was invoked on the performance. In the Indian classical tradition, the performance is itself regarded as an act of devotion. And Manishji outlined the background to how this special partnership came about. This particular performance expounds on poetry and as we call it in dance, Sahitya, which is the text of different uh, compositions. Rushkaji and I found that this part of dance was being neglected by the dance community. And as artists, we decided that using the production, we would enlighten other artists, especially students, on the importance of poetry and how to interpret the different texts. Dance for me is an experience. It's almost now become an intoxication, a way it's a fix that I desire. It's moving beyond just uh, the lyrics, the words, and the interpretation. Is once that I'm able to interpret those words, it's that I want to merge. I want to have that feeling of uh, aligning my energy, aligning my soul with uh, a higher force. I'm dancing for almost 35 years now, and I think I'm only now experiencing the real essence of Bharatanatyam. The performance presented a seamless interweaving of two major classical styles, combining the whirling energy of Kathak and the stately, almost sculptural postures of Bharatanatyam, while spectacular footwork formed a shared element. This was a particularly welcome opportunity for local dance lovers to view the work, which was first staged at an international arts festival on the island of Rainio. Dancing with my partner, Manesh Maharajji, is a wonderful journey. I think it's all about respect, trust, and it's really my personal respect for him as an artist. We both bring something very special, and that love and respect that we have for each other is what allows the creation uh, to unfold. The narrative element is common to both Kathak and Bharatanatyam. And while there are differences in detail, both styles employ a rich visual vocabulary of gesture and facial expression to develop a sense of characterization and to convey a story. Hindu scripture forms a key source of inspiration for both styles and the Lord Shiva is considered to be not only the divine patron of the arts but also the Lord of the Dance or Nataraja. Similarly, the goddess Shakti represents primordial cosmic energy and the source of dynamic forces that ripple throughout the universe. It must also be remembered that poetry provides the underlying structure and style of ancient Sanskrit writings such as the Ramayana, Mahabharata and the Puranas. And this in turn inspired the concept of poetry in motion. Tonight's performance is meant to be a visual treat of poetry. The NSA Gallery is a beautiful, radiant environment. We're so happy to bring dance into a gallery because it's for audience and art lovers to have access to art that's not on a wall. It's real life art and it's actually the artists uh, opening up their aura and their energies to allow people to experience the art. Manesh ji and Varushka ji share profound love of Kathak and Bharatanatyam. And while Poetry in Motion presents a marriage of the individual styles, 
there is no blurring of identity and cultural heritage is respected. I think keeping the legacy alive means the legacy will always live on. It's not based on a person or a school. The legacy is always there because of that it's given from the heavens. We are blessed that the, the legacy has chosen us. I feel completely committed because it's a soul's purpose. And I'm blessed to have been chosen and worthy enough to take this legacy forward. While both performers remain faithful to the specific form of their respective artistic traditions, they also explore the potential for personal development and individual expression. Poetry in motion evokes meaning and emotion that transcend the prosaic, creating an experience that offers mortals a hint of the sublime.